know what happens to a home appliance when it doesn't work anymore and reaches its end of life? Citizens have several ways to dispose of it. From the waste collection facility, our object is transported to a treatment plant. There, the item is separated into pieces and valuable fractions are collected. In the treatment facility, first of all, the operators manually separate the dangerous components such as batteries and motors. Then, the combination of grinders, shredders and magnets is used to separate the different fractions such as copper, iron, aluminum and plastics. And so, finally, plastics, metals and other fractions are collected separately. Nowadays, metals are totally recycled. But what happens to plastics? Only a low percentage of plastic is recycled. In fact, today, few recycling technologies are available for plastics, and the challenge is represented by those plastics which contain hazardous substances. Non-Tox Project was born to solve the problem of this kind of recycling. Non-Tox is focused on a system of innovative solutions which target plastics waste coming from WEEE -E -E, Waste Electrical and Electronic Equipment, CNDW Construction and Demolition Waste, and ELV End of Life Vehicles. Let's consider now only those plastics containing hazardous substances, which are the focus of Non Tox Project. In order to reduce the content of the hazardous substances fostering the recycle, plastics can undergo different processes. Creosol, Extra Clean, Modix, and the thermochemical conversion. Let's know more about each of them. The Creosol process has been developed as a solvent based plastic recycling approach that applies whenever current recycling methods fail. For example, that might be the case when mixed, dark, or composite plastics affect optical sorting. In case that plastic waste contains legacy additives, like earlier applied brominated inflammatons, it is the high purification potential of the creosolve process that enables a more than 99% removal of such compounds from the matrix polymer. And that enables the recycled polymer entering a second life in compliance with strict European regulations. The clean process is carried out in Aimplas. We are located in Valencia, in Spain. Extra clean is a mechanical recycling technology based on extrusion with simultaneous extraction by supercritical CO2. Hazardous substances are volatilized and extracted from the polymer melted during the extrusion by the gassing with a vacuum pump. The remote Substances are absorbed in activated carbon filters and are safely disposed by a hazardous waste management company. The main result of these two processes is recycled polymer provided in pellets. The non target plastics and residues from the previous processes are sent to the thermochemical conversion. Indea Energy is developing a thermochemical process to convert non-target plastic and residues from creosol and struclin into halogen-free hydrocarbons. Those hydrocarbons are useful for fuel components, industrial solvents or as a petrochemical feedstock. This process combines thermal and catalytic steps and also produce char and gas that can be used to produce the energy required by the process. Another interesting process is performed by the Modix extruder. Modix extruder will be used to pre-treat and compact selected waste feedstock with different shape, density and size ratios. Moreover, in connection with the main recycling processes already described, Thermal decomposition of hazardous additives such as brominated flame retardants will be carefully investigated and developed using the modular extruder. The clean plastic coming from creosol and extra clean processes, purified from hazardous substances, is stabilized and used for the production of new products.